I'd like to just demonstrate how to create the next sub-report and main report. I'm going to start by creating the main report. So I'll click the Create tab in the ribbon. I'll choose Report Design and I have a blank report. In the property sheet, I'll set the record source to the table called Contributors. I can see that the fields are needing to be added, so I'll click the Add Existing Fields button. The sorts of fields that we need are donor name, home phone, work phone, fax and email. And I'm going to drag these and drop them in my detail section. I might then select all of them and I'll make them equal width and height. So I'll go to Arrange, I'll go to Size and size them to the widest and also size them to the tallest. I might then decide that I'd like to format them using the Format tab in the ribbon to Arial and 10 and black. I'm now going to grab some other fields. I'll make some room first and they include address, city, state and province, postcode and country. I'll drag these onto my report and I'll place them there. What I might now do is actually click on donor name and on the home tab I'll double click the format painter. If I double click the format painter I can click on each of these fields and format them the same and then turn the format painter off. I'd then like to make this selection of controls the same height and width so I lasso them. I go to format, sorry, arrange, size and space, make them to the tallest and make them to the widest. And then I'll lasso the whole lot of them and align them to the top. I might decide that this collection of fields, if I lasso them, could be increased in width. And this collection of fields, if I lasso them, could also be increased in width. I don't require a page header and footer, so I'll right click and get rid of the page header and footer. And then I'll just move things up and over. And ultimately, I'll print preview and make sure that everything looks OK. So if I go to the Home tab, I can choose the View drop-down, Print Preview. Ooh, and this is upset because the design of my report is wider than an A4. So I click OK, and I can see that quite clearly. And that is because I'm going to change this to Landscape. When I change it to Landscape, close the Print Preview, and then Print Preview again, the message disappears. So you always get that message if the design of your report exceeds the width of the paper size. Now that is my report done, my main report, so I'm going to close Print Preview and I'm going to click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar and name it RPT Donors. And I'll close that report. Now I need to create the sub-report. So I'm going to create by hitting the Create tab in the ribbon, Report Design, and this time I'm going to base this field using the property sheet. I'm going to base this report, sorry, upon the table pledges. I'm then going to add some fields, so I'll click my Add Existing Fields button. And the fields I'm after are Date Pledged, Amount Pledged, and Paid. And I'll drag these particular fields into my detail section. I might then select the entire collection and I'll size them to the widest and the tallest by going to Arrange and going to Size and Space and saying to the widest, going back to Size and Space and to the tallest. I might then return to Format and make sure they're consistently Arial and Black and maybe 10. I then need to rearrange my fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the labels and put those in the report header. So I'll lasso the labels, I'll cut those, Control X, and I don't have my report header showing, so I'll right click and turn on the report header. I'll then click in the report header and Control V to paste. And then I'll just move the controls around until I'm happy that they're placed correctly. 
I don't need a page header and footer, so I'm going to right click and get rid of the page header and footer, and then just move things around. And I may just print preview what I have so far. So if I go to the Home tab, hit the drop down on View and Print Preview, I can see the information is cleanly displayed. And when I look at your notes, that basically is the sub report created. So I'll close Print Preview and I'll close the report and save it yes as SRPT pledge and click OK. Now I need to combine the pledge report with the main report which we called RPT Donors. So I'm going to open up RPT Donors in Design View. I'm then going to just stretch the edge of the detail section a little. I'm then going to go up to my Controls More button and choose Subform Sub Report. I'll then click below my fields which will invoke the Sub Report Wizard. It's the Sub Report Pledge that I want to embody so I'll choose this particular report and go Next. It's immediately recognised that the field that these two reports have in common is Contributor ID as the master and the child fields that need to be linked. So I'll go Next. I can then put a title that simply says Pledges and Finish. If I then stretch things out a little bit, I might then print preview my report and see how it looks. Hit the drop down on the View button and print preview. So what we have here is a particular donor, this is John Steele, and these are the pledges he's made. This is another donor, and these are the pledges that person's made. And each page shows me the pledges that they have paid or not, and how much, and the date that they pledged it. And then really it's just a matter of moving things around and formatting things and adding titles so that you're happy with the layout. But I'm going to close Print Preview, close the report, and save yes.